Hey, Jordan here. There's an easier way to be able to generate stable video diffusion videos, and you could use it with Comfy UI. Basically, you just install Comfy UI, and you could load in the JSON that they have, and you'll be able to generate these, uh, these videos. The requirements are Comfy UI, Comfy UI Manager. You don't need it, but it's good to have. I'll be doing the instructions from a fresh install could use any model you want. I'll be using SDXL, and then you'll need the SVD models, either the uh, SVD or just the X, uh, sorry, the SVDXT model. All right, let's start by downloading Comfy UI. Very easy, you scroll down, we'll download the standalone version here. So we'll go down to the direct link to download. We'll download that. Great, let's now open it up. We'll double click it. We'll move this window out of the way. We'll click on our user here, and we will click and drag this into our user folder. Great, now we'll open this up, and we will go into Comfy UI. We'll go into Models and Checkpoints. Then we'll put our checkpoints in here. So we'll be putting in our uh, SDXL model and as well as the SVD models. Um, so you get them from here. You download this one and you can put that one in. That's the one I'm going to use. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it. And then the SVD, you could download this one here and the SVDXT. So the difference between the SVD and the SVDXT is if we go back here, yeah, props to KaiJ. KaiJ actually helped me out to install it using his method, but there was a new method where you could just do it through Comfy, and that's what I'm showing you. But uh, I did do this, and I was planning to do a tutorial on it, but uh, it's a lot easier doing it this way here. So let's click on the examples here. And the difference between the SVD model and the SVD XT model is that the SVD, uh, you only get 14 frames, versus the SVXT is 25 frames. So let's go back into our folder and let's move over our safe tensor files. There's the SVD and the SVDXT and then let's move over the SDXL. Great. You might as well, since we're already on this page here, depending which one you're using, I'll download both. So to download the workflow, you right click you save the link as, and then you'll save it. Same with this, and let's save link as, and there you go. All right, now that we've downloaded them, let's go back to the main directory, and then we'll click on run NVIDIA GPU.bat. All right, now that we've got Comfy UI open, let's load in the JSON. I'm going to be using the, uh, the X T version, which I believe is this one. I downloaded the second one. All right, now that we loaded in the JSON file, now we can click on our checkpoint here and we will make sure that it's the SDXL base tensor here. And then if you're here, we are going to select the SVD XT tensors, which is already defaulted to. And then we could just queue the prompt. And then it'll take about, uh, about a minute. I've got an RTX 4090. And there you go. You're using the SVD XT model to be able to generate a video. Now, I prefer not to have the WebP format. I mean, you basically, this is the end of the tutorial. But I'm going to show you some other optional uh, extensions that you can install to be able to export it as a, a different format. Um, before I do that, I can show you that if you don't want to generate a model straight from here, what you can do is you could double click and just type in load image. And you could just uncheck this here and move this tag in here and it will use this image instead of uh, this one here. Just keep in mind that you do want the 1024 by 576 format because that's what it was trained on. So this image, I mean, it'll probably work, but I'm going to change it to something that I already have in that format. 
I will use this and click on, let's just change some of the settings so you could see uh, you know, what they do. So this motion bucket ID, the higher that you bring it, I think the max is 512. The higher that you put this value is the more motion you'll have in your video and the lower uh, means the less movement. So let's just change this just to see, you know, let's make it like 300. All right, let's generate or cue the prompt. Yeah, and there you go. That took about a minute. Yeah, he's uh, looking pretty cursed there. Okay, let's download the Comfy UI Manager and the Video Helper Suite because that will be able to allow you to generate different formats. Okay, we'll go to the Comfy UI Manager. We'll scroll down here, Installation. We're going to use Installation Method 2 and we're going to download this script here. So we'll just right click on this and click on save link as, and we'll save that. And we will make sure we close out of Comfy UI and we will also close out the Comfy UI command line interface here as well. Now I'm going to put in the install manager into the main directory in Comfy UI and then I'll just double click it. Oop, okay, now it's done. Now we'll click on run. Great, now we've got the manager here. So we'll go to the manager, we'll go to install custom nodes, we'll put in VHS and search and we'll get the video helper suite. Install this. Great, we'll close this. Close that, close Comfy UI, close the Comfy UI uh, command line interface. Now we will run Comfy UI again. All right, great. Now we can add in a new node. We'll call this VHS Video Combine. And now we can move this into here, unclick this. And now we're able to choose what format we want. You could do a, a GIF. I like to do this version here, video format. And then instead of this, I'll call this SVDXT for the prefix name and you could change the frame rate here. I'll put this at, let's just do 12. All right, now our little blob here, he was a little too sporadic. So let's put down this value to 100 and see what that gives us. Then we'll cue the prompt. All right, great, there we've got our output here. All right, now let's go to our output folder and take a look. And there you go. There's our bouncy little blob. Perfect. Well, I hope this helps and have some fun jettering some uh, stable video diffusion videos. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.